Here's a wild toy story that happened in D.C. A janky promoter tried to get over on us. I don't have all the details. See, my life is one long blur. I just remember we were somewhere and the the promoter did not pay us. He didn't have our dough. We got there after driving like an ungodly amount of hours. He pulled. He, he he did the shoulder, the, the elbow grab. Pulled him to the side like I speak to you for a minute. <laughs> Stepped off with L. L came back. No, he didn't even come back to the group. He was just you just seen him walking past, mad as fuck. He was like, "Yo, what's wrong? What's up?" He was like, "No, hold up, hold up. No, hold up, hold up." <laughs> Walked away. Next thing you hear, smash crash out. Wooden chair. You see toothpicks and, and wood flying everywhere. You're like, what the fuck is wrong with L? He's like, yo, motherfucker's not trying to pay us, yo. <laughs> motherfucker ain't trying to pay. I thought it was going down. I thought we was going to have to rub him out. We was uh, coming from Jersey, and we were starting the tour, best of the underground tour. Artifacts, beat nuts, organized confusion, common sense. This is like maybe one of the first stops, 930 uh, Ibex Club in D.C. We get there, we're on time. Show didn't even start yet. <laughs> and and we get there and the first act is on, beat nuts is on. I go to the promoter, I say, okay, we, we're mm-hmm. here. My man is like, okay, who are you? Artifacts. We on the fly right there. Oh yeah, well, I don't know. Y'all not performing tonight. I'm like, really? Why not? We on the fly. We here. These dudes know we coming. I don't know what made him decide to keep saying that. So I'm like, yo, let's go downstairs. Now there's a downstairs part of the club. There's nobody down there, lights is off. And this only dude kind of older, maybe 50s, and the two bouncers is coming with him. So we downstairs talking about this in the empty pot uh, part of the club. And he's just telling us that we late. And these dudes is on stage already. It's four acts, bro. We could go on even any spot in the night, whatever. So he's like, I'm sorry, y'all not gonna perform. I'm like, dude, listen, we just drove from Jersey. You really trying to tell me right now we're not gonna perform and we're not getting paid? And that's when I turned around and DJ Rock Raider was with us. Rest in peace. Rock Raider. I turned my back and grabbed the stool off the bar. And it was like a pillar in the middle of the floor, big ass cement pillar. And I just took that chair and just. <laughs> and when it just, like he said, it just shattered. The seat part flew over there. The two bounces is like, what the, what the fuck? What the fuck around this dude? I hit the wall, it was like a pillar in the middle of the floor. So I just like came out of character. And I don't, I don't this was early in Artifact's career. So that was just, I just couldn't hear not getting paid. I just was not trying to hear that, that part of it. So I'll go back to the dude and I'm in his face now like, yo, you're going to pay us. I started doing the clapping shit. You're going to pay us to do this show. We just drove here. Matter of fact, what you're going to do, because beating that's about to go off in a minute. We're going to walk upstairs and you're going to grab the mic and you're going to tell everybody in this club that is fully damn packed that we're not performing because we on the marquee. So make your decision but we going upstairs he stood there and looked at me for like two seconds like you ready the bouncers i'm looking at them they ain't even move fuck that he smashed the chair we going upstairs and they behind me i'm behind the promoter i'm behind the owner they behind me tapping me get your money homie (laughs) that's right get your money because they work for him we get all the way upstairs but when the chair chatted the right raider was looking at me like what the fuck is this guy doing? Mm-hmm. Like, yo, he ain't, they both were speechless. Like, I don't believe this, this, these dudes are huge. Like, I didn't care. What the I fuck did not mode? care. <laughs> Went upstairs. I walk. I'm walking behind the dude, nudging him. Walking through the crowd. Go to the go to the front. Go to the front. He's standing in the front, beating us on their last. They on props overhead. They doing that song, and I'm <laughs> both. I'm standing like this behind the dude. And he's standing there. He keep looking back at me. I'm like. Betty, he looked back at me again, and then he looked at them, and then he turned back and looked at me again. All right, man, you got it, you got it. All right, yeah, he turned around, put the money in my hand, and we was out. And the next day, Raider woke up like, yo, you really smashed that chair, yo. <laughs> we went to McDonald's after, after the show, though. He still was like, yo, I don't believe you did that. What came over you? 
because you talking about not paying us that <laughs> bread as we drove four hours almost, and it was late, and we was ready to rock. So I almost beat up an old man that night. 